In the black world, the preacher and teacher embodied once the ideals of this people. The strife for another and a juster world. The vague dream of righteousness. The mystery of knowing. But today, the danger is that these ideals, with their simple beauty and weird inspiration, will suddenly sink to a question of cash and a lust for gold. Here stands this black young Atlanta, girding herself for the race that must be run, and if her eyes be still toward the hills and sky as in the days of old, then he may look for noble running. But what if some ruthless or wily or even thoughtless Hippomenes lay golden apples before her? What if the Negro people be wooed from a strife for righteousness or a love of knowing to regard dollars as the be-all and end-all of life? What if to the mammonism of America be added the rising mammonism of the reborn South and the mammonism of the South be reinforced by the budding mammonism of its half awakened black millions. Whither then is the new world's quest of goodness and beauty and truth gone glimmering? Must this and that fair flower of freedom, which, despite the jeers of latter day stripling sprung from our father's blood, must that too degenerate into a dusty quest? of gold into lawless lust with Hippomenes.